All right, so here we are in my man cave. You haven't been in this room yet, but this is my getaway um, and where I've been doing most of the playing of this game. I'm going to try and do this in about five minutes. I have one important tool, the monitor, and my magic wand because I need it. Uh, I don't have a whole lot here. Um, I'm exploring the whole world of playing this game on a Mac, which is completely new to me. So uh, there's a lot that I uh, don't know how to do. So we have a still picture today, and I thought I would talk about a few people on here which are arranged in a particular way. Um, first of all, I have to start with Yule and Philip. Uh, those two were an alliance that was created very early in the game, and quite honestly, I felt more in tune with Philip um, than I did with Yule, but that has changed in the last 24 hours. Um, Philip really is, uh, as I told Yule, he can't sit still. Um, he needs to feel like he's making a move. He needs to feel like he's doing something. Um, hopefully this Aubrey thing that he really wanted to do, hopefully that made a difference. Uh, and maybe he'll settle down a little bit. But um, I don't know that he'll go for greener pastures, but I just don't know that he will just do what is right for the three of us. Yule, on the other hand, um, I feel much closer to... The problem is I have made no secret that I really like Yule um, because I was trying to keep secret how close I was to Philip. So it's not a surprise to anyone that I like Yule and that Yule likes me and that's not really a good thing to have because it makes us a pair. Speaking of pairs, you have Ian and you have Fabio. Prior to this weekend, I thought that Ian was the brain trust that was running everything. That is not true. Fabio is the brain trust. But those two are really smart. Ian is rarely around, doesn't talk very much. He wants you to give him information, but he doesn't want to give you much back, even if he's supposed to be in an alliance with you. Listen, Ian. Fabio, on the other hand, comes up with this idea with Philip. They bake up this idea to get rid of Aubrey. And as soon as he gets it set, he disappears and lets everybody else do the uh, get the blood on their hands. Everybody else has to do all the legwork. Uh, he just came up with the idea, and then he's gone. Um, so yes, I'm in an, a little four-way deal with them. My hope is that they are seen as huge threats very soon, um, but they play super smart. Um, I hope that they wouldn't turn on me quickly, but they could. My job is to turn on them before they turn on me. I'd like to think that we could go Final Four, but I think they are way smarter than that, so we'll have to see. Down here on the bottom, Francesca, Tasha, Michelle. Um, Michelle is the one who just is never around. She needs to be more active. She must have had a conflict, but I did talk to her about uh, don't say you're not going to be here because people will vote you out. So she made an effort to say, oh yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Tasha, super cool, love her a lot, great conversation, but she's super connected with Philip. She's super connected with Fabio. Uh, she told Philip that I was making overtures to put an alliance together probably testing the waters, so it's good that Philip and I were close. But she's trying to see how true I am to her and telling people what I'm up to. So she's connected to a lot of people. Francesca, I think, um, comes along with her, and that's tied to this Michelle thing. I think they all definitely wanted to save Michelle. So this is a threesome to watch out for, but Tasha is the leader of this group, much like Fabio is the leader of this group. Brenda love 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 her i have spent more time talking to her in the last 48 hours than anybody else um, as long as she doesn't find out that i knew about aubrey from the beginning um, we can do fine but if she gets wind of the fact that i heard about it beforehand and i kind of misled her i didn't kind of mislead her i told her i didn't know i did mislead her um, she could get upset with me but i really really like her and i really think we can play together well sarah's another one and i get bonk 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 on the head Sierra was someone that I didn't talk to a single time yesterday. And we're supposed to be tight and working closely together and getting along great. And in all the madness yesterday, I knew, I was like, man, I'm forgetting somebody. Even during the vote, I was like, who am I missing? Who am I missing? And after it's over, Sierra sends me a message and says, I'll talk to you tomorrow. And I thought, shit, because I really like her and I left her out to dry and didn't tell her anything and other people had to tell her. That's a problem. Cass. Chaos Cass. I hoped she wouldn't be Chaos Cass, but she clearly is. She targeted Yule, supposedly. She sent Philip this random message that was supposed to be to Lisa, but 
she sent it to Philip, which just seems odd. And I think she was trying to throw me under the bus and say that I threw Yule's name out there, which I didn't because he's my guy. Yule's my guy. Um, but she tried to say, yeah, I was so surprised that Jeremy said Yule's name. No, I didn't say Yule's name. And you know that, you know that you crazy heifer. Um, I said, Michelle and Yule, hoping that you would tell me who you were voting for, and you really kind of did. You told me that you'd heard Yule from a lot of people, which was a load of crap. You didn't. Then you sent me this wonderful, long, 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 long message, longer than the credits to Les Miserables, saying that uh, y you are glad that Aubrey's gone and whatever. You're telling people what you wanted to hear. You are Chaos Cass. Um, maybe we'll work with you because this thing right here this Fabio thing right here is a problem. And um, I love Fabio, but Ian scares the crap out of me because he doesn't talk. And I've been down this road before. You don't get in an alliance with someone and not talk to them. That's a concern. Um, last one on this list, and I might get this done in seven minutes. Wow. This guy, Eric. First of all, he's my crush of the season. I fall in love with avatars in this game. And Eric is our candy this season. I'm just being honest. I like Eric. Now, it just so happens that he's not that active, and I get along with him great, and he gets along with the people that I get along with. We'll see what happens. He's not a long-term plan. He's just a diversion. You know, it's John Carroll in Marquesas. Um, you know, you keep your crush around, and then you're like, wait a minute, this is going to be too distracting, so i got to get rid of you. But uh, having his avatar around um, is a nice little eye candy, so thank you for that. Um, other than that, I think that sums everything up. The one thing I would say is something that Ian said last night, and I cannot recall what he named them, um, but they're basically the bandwagon fans. And it is Lisa, Sierra, Brenda, um, Michelle, Eric, wanting to know right before tribal, okay, so what are we doing? Um, Eventually, they're going to step up. I think they're sitting back and enjoying what's happening right now. Eventually, they're going to step up and want to lead. But the uh, the Yes Man Brigade cannot keep being the Yes Man Brigade. Uh, the problem is we need them. Um, so I love the girls. I, I work really well with the girls. I love Ian and Fabio. work well with them. This is my core alliance up here with uh, Yule and Philip. Of course, this guy right here in the middle is the most awesome guy in the whole season and he's been to Japan before and he won in Japan before so shouldn't he be able to do that again I just have to be careful not to get too overactive not to play too hard let the game come to me be conversational but this cast they talk to everyone and they say everything that is said to them I am surprised that we were able to keep the Aubrey vote somewhat a secret from Cass Maybe we didn't. Maybe she's making that up. But you can't keep secrets in this cast at all. And anybody that thinks you can is nuts. Um, there are a few people that I will keep their secrets. Um, Yule is one. Uh, Tasha is one. Philip is one. Uh, Brenda and Sierra would probably be up there too. So I'm at eight and a half minutes. I'm going to stop now. That is your video confessional. And uh, I'll try and learn more about this Mac so that we can do more later. See ya.